We will hear from some of the industry experts on how they have used HR as a competitive tool to compete in their own organizations to become a world leader. Now I'd like to call upon Sunil Desanayakar, Head Group Human Resource and Services, Dennis Group. Sunil. Top 
copies from the business corporate plan, then it filters down to the MD or the CEO, and then from there it filters down to the management team. From the management team, it filters down to the right to the bottom of the executives in the lowest band. So this methodology results in every executive getting engaged and being accountable for achieving the business goals. This process of goal cascading became branded as Hoshin Khan, as explained earlier. It was also about direction, planning, management and alignment. Also the process ensures that all business units operate in one direction, not that they run in different directions, not that each business unit does what they want to do, but everything they do is in one direction aligned with the top corporate goals of the organization. I think coming back to the final question and as a group like ADS, which is a diversified uh, group, um, what were some of the success factors uh, of implementing a performance management system using a machine computer? Yeah, yes. Uh, Dinesh, uh, we have so far been discussing theory. Right? And uh, my answer to this question would be to share with you how we translate the theory into practice in our group. And Hades is a hugely diversified group with about seven business uh, sectors. And each business sector is a mini corporate as well. So it's a corporate within a corporate. The biggest success factor has been and continues to be the ownership and leadership in the performance management process by the chairman, the group chairman, and the seven uh, MDs of the seven business sectors. This has resulted in the process getting integrated as an important uh, business tool uh, within the organization. Uh, and also everybody has engaged uh, in its successful implementation uh, and sustainability. The key word here is sustainability. Most of the time we in organizations start projects and start processes and practices. But the key is to sustain it over the years. Now if you take our organization as well, a performance management system, several of them have been implemented over the last 25, 30 years, but none of them have been sustained. So our challenge has been to uh, sustain and also it helps to measure employee performance. And that is now getting inculcated as part of the culture of the group. Employee performance is measured through the achievement of their objectives. Uh, yeah, that's in, in summary, maybe you can summarize you know, what were some of the key when we are looking at the uh, performance management system, what are the key factors that need to be? Yeah, the key factor, the first one was uh, commitment of the leadership. And if you don't have commitment, don't even try. If they are leadership, then that's the MDs and the CEOs don't commit to what you are doing, it will never work. So our success factor has been that our chairman and all the MDs within the group have fully supported the process. Then of course comes the competence and capability of the HR delivery team. We have excellent HR delivery team in all our sectors where we have trained and they take the projects and these processes for implementation to the sectors. When I say capability, it's the technical capability. In a right way, to my mind, there are two professions that I have experienced where anybody thinks everybody can do it. One is HR management, the other is hotel management. Every housewife thinks she cannot work here. And everybody in the world thinks they can be HR managers. And that has been the biggest mistake in most companies. Hiring people who are not technically competent. So whatever the processes you want to implement, gets bogged down because of lack of know-how of the people who are delivering it. Uh, then of course sustainability, like I said before. Once it's implemented, we need to have mechanisms in place to sustain. Uh, in our performance management process, which we implement through machine company, we have three steps. One is the design stage where we design. The second is the review stage after every performance cycle we review with the management teams. And the third is the sustainability where we do refreshments. And finally, the timeliness. Timeliness of setting goals. In my past work experience, I have seen organizations and people setting the objectives till the end of the financial year. Objectives should be in place before the financial year starts. So the whole objective of that is so that people start working on it then. But uh, it, when it becomes academic, just to say I have set my goals, you set the goals even at the end of the year. So it has no link to your business. So those are the four key success factors. Commitment on the leadership, politics and capability of the HR team that delivers it, sustainability and timeliness. Thank you very much.